it's Donna here and it's a beautiful sunny morning in Australia and I have been making tea leaves. Tea leaves, get it? <laughs> I have got all of these tea bags. I save tea bags all the time. Doesn't matter whether you drink coffee or tea. Tea is so cheap. You can buy boxes like this and just empty the tea out. You can see that I've soaked this in tea. I've torn off the top of the tea bag here and I've emptied out the tea. Then I've dried these in the oven to finish them off. So you've got a lighter version and a darker version. If you want them real toasty, you got to put them in the oven and get this brown edge. There are these style and you've got the string that you can reuse. These don't. They don't have the string on them. They're just a bag. So I'm going to show you a couple of ideas today. The first one being my tea leaf. There's a couple of ways that you can do it as well. We're also going to make a tea bag. So this is just a little pocket and you can put, I've just put a sticker in it actually, just to show you that you can put anything in there. And you, if it's dark like this, you can't see as much. But if you made it out of a light bag, whatever you put in the pocket, you'd see it there. So we'll start with this leaf here. If you don't want to fiddle around like I've done here with the veins on this leaf, I'll show you an alternative method that's a lot quicker. I'm going to use these little square ones for this because I love that colour on it. You just, you've got to tear it open at the sides, being careful not to tear the bag itself because it's the bag that you want to use and just discard your tea leaves. And I'm just going to leave that there and I'm going to cut two leaves together. I've got a paper leaf here just to get the shape. So whatever leaf you've got in your stash, just use it. And just get your fussy cut scissors and just cut around the edge of that leaf. So I'm just going to turn it upside down just to get this jagged edge shape. And I'm just going to randomly cut little V's out all the way around the edge of the leaf. I flip it over because I'm right handed to do the other side. So now you've got your shape of your leaf cut out with that jagged edge. Now I use the dark piece here to put the veins on. So I'm just going to use a thin strip of that. So I'll cut it up the middle and then I'll taper it off to be a bit wider. So it's going to be wider at the bottom here. And it's going to taper up thin to the top. I use the Barely Art glue because it's got this really thin tip on it. And put a very thin line straight up the centre of my leaf. You can use your fingers or your tweezers to do this. And just glue that down. You only need that tiny amount of glue. Then I'm just going to rip that off there. Then when I cut my veins, I actually work out how long I want them. So if I want a piece that long, I'm going to, instead of cutting straight lines, I'm going to cut like a triangle. Okay. So narrow to wide. Wide to narrow. Narrow to wide. Wide to narrow. And I'm going to put a, a couple of lines of glue on my leaf. Put 
put the widest end to the bottom. If they're too long, just cut them off. So just do that all the way up. So the grungy tea leaves suits this leaf perfectly. So that's one method. So let's say you haven't achieved this grungy look and you've pretty much only got this lighter one. You can, like on this side, you can get some distress ink. I've got the vintage photo. Just pat some on it. All right, you can do that just to get some darker colour. And you can use a Copic marker. Markers like this bleed. So I've done this one here just to give a bit of an idea. I've used a Distress Ink on there and I've used the Copic marker. So they do bleed. So you just got to come up from the bottom and draw a thin line and draw out those lines up and out from that thinner line here. So you really only want it to be subtle. So if you've got a really, you know, like wet marker, you're going to get a different result to me. So you can use a marker if you, if you don't want to fiddle around and glue down your pieces like that. Now here's another way that you can do it. So I've just got this plain paper and I've just used my black text stamp all over the paper and then cut the leaf out and I didn't, you know, put the jagged edge around the edge of the leaf. So that one's pretty easy. You don't need to press heavy. A permanent ink would be better so that it doesn't bleed. You can pop a, a little flower on there. There's many ways you could embellish the leaf. You don't have to leave it as a plain leaf. If you've got some of these thin line gold stickers, they're perfect for making the veins. Cut a long one and stick it down the centre here with the smaller ones angled on each side. Embellish it with a flower and voila, you've got a gold leaf tea leaf. You see this one here, I've used the zigzag scissors on the edge if you didn't want to hand cut your edges. To get these two different colours, like this one's real grungy and this one's a golden tea colour. To achieve this colour, what I did was I undone the bag before it was used. Undo the bag pull it apart like I just done there and then I submerge that in some tea water. So that way you get two different looks. So if you want a real grungy look, soak your tea bag first and then undo it. If you want a golden colour, undo your tea bag before you soak it and then just dunk it in some tea water. And I just left it all scrunched up like that to dry and then I opened it up once it was dry. Now I'll show you how to make these little tea bag pockets. So I'm using just the square tea bags for this one and you need two. So you need them as, as they are like a pocket so you don't tear them apart. So I'll pick two pretty good ones out. So I'm going to have one going that way and one going that way. I'm going to fold it over to form my flap and I'm just going to crease that there. Now before I glue that one onto here, I'm going to open up this bag here at the front. 
I'm going to hold it open like that and I'm going to put the two side seams together so the front has got a little bit of a, a fold here. And then I'm just going to scoop down and make like a thumb hole at the front. And you can make it deeper if you want to because I like it reasonably deep because these are a pretty soft paper. So I make it deeper so that it's easier to use as a pocket. All right, so then I'm going to glue that down on the back, but I want that back piece to be a little bit shorter than the fold line so it's easy to close and open. So I'm going to put some of the Barely Art glue on each side a little bit lower than my fold line where the flap is some at the bottom and squiggles and I'm also going to glue inside that opening there so that it it closes and I'm going to lay that on top and it's not right up in that fold line and I'm just going to make sure that the edges are glued together so I'm going to pinch them together and the back here so all you do is extending your bag and now we've got that fold line pocket so when you open it up we just got to test it to make sure that nothing's glued together and we've got a little pocket now you can use a button or a flower here there are two ways you can put your flower on. On this one, I've used a glue dot to put my flower on. So I've just used the string off this tea bag and I've wrapped it around. And on this one, I've used uh, one of these, which is a, a 3D foam dot because I want the flower to be raised up a little bit so the string can go under it. So I'll show you why I've, I prefer the glue dot and I'll show you why. First off, we'll get the string off here. So I need to lift the staple up and just slide out the string. And I like using this string because it's got a little bit of tea stain on it on both ends. So once you've done that, you've got your string there to use. So I use the most colourful end, I leave it out free and I put the other end under the flower. So that's what I'm aiming for. I'm going to make sure it's down lower than the front of my tea bag. Now I've got these little glue dots. I hope you can see them because they're really tiny. And there is one right there. I'm just going to get my pokey tool and I'm going to take off one of these glue dots. They turn, they look a little bit like silicon. I've let that squish up. They're usually flat. They're flat when they lay on the paper, but I'm going to let it squish up. So I'm going to put it on the back of the flower and I'm going to let it catch the flower and the string. They're really sticky and quite tricky to get off because it just wants to hold on to whatever you're using. So once you get that there, you know it's going to hold on. I'm going to use a second one. The way they are meant to be used, are you meant to stick them on like that and then lift it off. That's the correct way to use them. All right, so then you've got your sticky dot hanging right there on the back of the flower. So I've got two on there now. So I'm going to place that right there. Make sure your string's facing down. Now I like using these because once I come around here like that, I don't have to wait for the string to the glue to dry. And when I put my string underneath that flower, it just holds there a bit better. 
So that's why I like using the sticky dots, but you've got to use the real small ones. That's that method. Now I'm going to use the foam dots, but I'm just going to do it on a demo. I just use it on a piece of, I'll just use it on here because I can use this as an, an embellishment. So I get my 3D dot out. Take the sticker paper off the top. I'm using a real small one here as well. Now, to get your string between this tiny little dot and this one here, it's not as strong. So I can stick that on there and see how it grabs hold of the string. It does a pretty good job of doing that. But when I try to make it stick onto the flower, I can put that there and stick the flower on the tea bag, but as soon as I bring the string around the tea bag and pull it around there like that, it just pulls the flower straight off the tea bag. So what I had to do was put a little dot of the fabric glue on there to hold that 3D dot there onto the paper. So if you've got the 3D dots, use them, but you need something behind that flower to lift it up so that you can put your string around it. They make great embellishments. Like I said, even if you do not drink tea, these are about 80 cents for a box of these tea bags and you can make so many things with them. These are adorable little pockets to put in your junk journals. I'm Donna, thanks for watching and bye for now.